Hello, darlings. Happy Thursday to you. And welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> Hello. This isn't the Potter Project. This is Let's Build the World. I'm just... Guys, I'm so inspired with this house and this character that I just want to crack on. I want to crack on with a bit more Let's Build the Worlds today. And I'm sure you won't mind. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring some more Potter Project next week. So we'll start a bit more on that next week. So yes, that's that's what's happening. So today, this is the final part of the Dobsons. Or Kylie's part, anyway. We're going to crack on with the interior itself today. So we're going to completely furnish this mobile home together. That's what we're going to do. Um, I want to make this place a little bit kitschy. Maybe slightly leaning to like a 70s edge. I don't know. But just very light and girly. And this doesn't necessarily have to be girly if it's pink, obviously. But I just want to go for those kind of vibes with this place today so that is what is going to happen yes it is so without further ado let's get into building okay so we're here we're back at kylie's pad um i really liked what i did last time i didn't change anything at all uh i like how it looks i'm for it kylie is absolutely elated with it as is red um so we're gonna crack on today my love so i have already picked the wallpapers and the floorings and some of the curtains and stuff that's going to be going into this place so obviously as i said this is going to be the kind of living area um maybe with like a little desk or something where she could do a little bit of work on maybe um well not necessarily work she just enjoys going on the internet to be honest um looking up recipes and whatnot um this is going to be the kitchen area i'm going to try and squeeze a little dining table in here as well got a bathroom going on here and then this is going to be the bedroom my love so pink carpets this wallpaper here from realm of magic i think that's from so that's what ignore the ceilings definitely ignore the ceilings in here they don't match in well at all so yes let's crack on so sofa wise i was thinking maybe using the sofa from the paranormal pack um I think this would pr probably suit Kylie's vibe in here. Not in that colour. Does it come in a pink? Oh, it's got a pink. I mean, if that's not Kylie, I don't know what is, darlings. So that's what we're going to... I think I'm going to put it here as well. Where do I want everything to go in here? It's quite a nice size living room. So it's going to be work well with a desk here as well, I think. So I'll put the actual living area kind of maybe around here. Or oh, sofa, sorry. Maybe there. Do want a TV in here, but I don't necessarily want a massive flat screen. Um, so I don't know if I want to use like an older TV set in here, maybe. Uh, I think I do. Let's let's get a little TV unit. We don't we haven't got many TV units, have we? Like, I, what, what was the last TV unit to come out? Oh, it was this one here, and that was with the toddler stuff pack or the kids stuff pack. I mean, can we have some more, please? Instead of having just TVs up on the side. I'm not really feeling any of them, to be honest. Uh, and I do want to have like an older TV set in here. I think that would look quite cute. Do we want to do that? Yes, I think we do. And I think I'm going to use this one from the Paranormal Pack as well. Because I like that blue kind of tying in in here. Um, with like the throw on the side there. So I think that's what we're going to do. Now, the TV is quite far away. So I don't know if I want to change the orientation of the sofa maybe do like a little separating moment here do you know what i mean because i could put like a little console table or something there or a little side table and then that kind of separates this area off and i could put a, yeah we're, we're gonna do it this way instead yes we are indeed okay little tv up there stunning she's not necessarily a massive tv watcher i wouldn't imagine kylie she's she's got the love outdoors trait so she likes being outside so i wouldn't imagine she spends too much time in here in the evening um, it's very bright in here, so I don't. I may change these lights as well. Let me see if I can find a different light. Yes, we'll go for them. I forget where these lights are from, actually. Where are you from? What are you? Who are you? And where are you? Oh, they're base game. They're base game lights. I just think they're a bit more classic. Again, ignore the ceilings. Ignore the ceilings, darlings. So that's what we're going to do there. Um, I'm feeling maybe like a bookcase over in this corner. I reckon that could work quite well. Uh, maybe a chair on this side here, too. Um, and some plants. I, I think so. I'm seeing some plants in this room. I'm going to go for it. So over here, we'll put a bookcase on this side. 
Yeah, we'll use this base game one. I've never used this one, but I just think it's the best one that suits him in the room. I just tried a few out and I'm unsure. Oh, that one's quite nice as well. Oh, I kind of prefer that one, I think. Let me see. Get in there. Go to their place. I don't know. I don't know what one I prefer. Let me see that one there again. That one there's better. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, and I'm going to put a nice little console table down or a side table. No, in fact, I'm going to put a chair there. I just tried loads of like side tables then and nothing was really working. And then I thought, do you know what? Why don't I put the chair there instead? So that's what I'm going to do. Now, where is that? There it is. Can we get like a matching pink chair in here as well? I think we bloody can, darlings. I'm going to pop that to there. Like in that orientation. <laughs> right about there. Yes, vibes. Let's move that sofa in even closer now. I'm going to put a plant down next to that, I think. I think that would work really well down there. Like a nice big bushy number. Maybe I could use this one there, to be honest. Oh, I think I could. And I don't even think I need to size it down either. Oh, I don't. I absolutely don't. So I'm going to flop that plant in there. I hate the shadow on it, but we're going to crack on. They need to sort that fucking plant out, don't they? It's bloody awful. Okay, so that's right in front of the slidey door. I may change the orientation of the slide just so it comes in from that way instead. Let's move you in again. Plop that down to there. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm feeling that. Yes, I'm feeling it. Absolutely 100% here for. And what I had something in my head what I wanted to do then, but I've just forgotten it. The beaded curtains. That's what I wanted. So I found them, put them there. And I think the Sims can just walk straight through them anyway. So it doesn't really matter that they're right in front of the door. I'm sure that they can. And if they can't, they're fussy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this here as well, even though I hate it. But I think Kylie would be all about that. So we're going to use this. Should I chuck a bit more pink up there? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to use it in the white. And then I'm going to move you to like there. I nearly hiccuped out a lung then. Uh <laughs> Please don't have hiccups. I can't be dealing with hiccups. I can't be dealing with hiccups now. Yeah, we'll put those up there. Stunning. Still need a coffee table, but this is quite a tight space to be able to put a coffee table in, I think. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try and meander in a coffee table. What coffee table would look good in here? I think this like 70s-esque one would look quite good. Um, Do I want to use it in that? Oh, no, that turns all right, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think that should, yeah, you should be able to get through there quite easily. But again, I will play a test at any, I will play a test everything anyway, as always, to make sure that she can meander herself in. Yeah, no, cute. Yeah, I like that. That little area is looking sweet now. I would imagine she would love a bit of music. I would love to get a jukebox in here, but I hate this jukebox. I hate the the styling of it and I don't like the base game one either I think it's ugly and the swatches on it are just bad bad so maybe just using that record player instead the actual turntable where are you maybe I could fit this in here somewhere can I put it next to the tv oh no it's quite big isn't it let me see I mean I could put it off to the side here to be honest not in this color obviously I don't again with the swatches of this it's quite bad but I fear can we do a pink one Oh, 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 that's probably the best, actually, that we could get. Or even that one with a little bit of gold in. I think we'll go for the pink. I'm going to do it. I am. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to flop you to like there, actually. Yes. Oh, I'm for it. Definitely, definitely. And then I'm going to start adding some plants in. I want some of the hanging plants as well. So let me find them. Okay, I've popped a few plants around. This hanging one over here. The big, big pink bunch of flowers. Maybe red pick these for Kylie. I'm for that. Um, put a little tea set on the table here. Little little poofet on that side. Now on this side here, I'm going to put a clock. But I want to put a shelf up here as well, I think. So I'm going to go and get a shelf unit out. Surfaces. And put a little shelving unit up here as well with some stuff on. Um, Have we got any like pre shelved things so I don't have to struggle trying to put stuff up on here. Probably not because why? Because Sims, that's why. Um, that one's probably a bit too modern for in here. Um, 
No, they're all ghastly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flop in this one here instead. Um, is that even white? Are you even white? I think that's the lightest we can go. It's supposedly. Oh, I don't really like them either. Uh, let's just go for the plain ones then. Oh, actually. Oh, you know that'll be perfect. Yes, yes, yes. And then I only have to do one because of the size of it as well. I'm gonna pop you to there. Oh, for it. Yes, yes, yes. I keep having to look down at my keyboard like loads when I'm playing games and everything because I just can't work out what my new keys are just yet. Um, this clock isn't working for me. I think maybe no, I don't want a grandfather clock. I definitely want a clock in here. But maybe we could go a bit more kitschy with it. Like this. What colour is that? Uh, that's not the vibe. It's massive as well, isn't it? I need to size that down if I'm going to use this. Uh, what, what are you? Does it come in just Apo? Apo? Oh, she likes apples. No, she doesn't. She likes um, lemons. <laughs> I was like, what does she like? Who am I? I'm a bit um, disoriented today, guys. So I'm probably going to struggle with this build. Um, Just pre-warning you. Pre-warning you. Oh, that one's a good vibe. Yeah, we'll use this one here. I'm going to size it down just one, though. Not up, darling, down. Yes. Yes, that's a vibe. I like that. And then up here, I'm just going to get out some cluttery objects. There we go. Plant, candles, polar bear with sunglasses and books. Because what is a house without a polar bear wearing sunglasses? It's not a happy home, let me tell you that. Right, so now on this side, I really want to put in a little desk area. So, I'd probably see her having just a kind of normal looking desk if you know what i mean rather than anything too fancy to be honest so pro can i like do a bit more of a higher one there i mean i don't does this come in a white oh it comes in a white and pink oh that's quite the vibe yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna plop you to there see this just where she likes to surf the web i reckon she's maybe got her own little side business with ebay she maybe upsells furniture or something red sources it for her and she maybe upsells furniture upcycles furniture and sells it so maybe she does need a desk after all she's got her fingers and lots of pies and she's a clever clever woman very clever woman um constantly thinking of new things to do to try to earn money and and that's what we love about her and i'm thinking i'm for it to be honest do i want to add that chair in I don't know. I think she just needs just a normal looking, yeah, like that roly office chair. Can I do it in a pink? Oh, we can. We're going to do it. There we go. Is that even on it? No, it's not. There we go. Yes. Yes, we'll do it. And then we'll give her a nice PC as well. Um, I reckon we'll go for, I really detest the PCs. I don't know about you lot, but I want just a PC that just looks normal, to be honest. You know? All of these like weird like shaped thingies. Like I'm just just want a normal PC, my loves. I don't know about you. And this one here. Yeah, we'll use this one. There we go. That's a bit better. Little little lamp to the next to the side of it as well. To the next of it. I told you it's gonna be a weird, weird um video today because I'm just getting my words all jumbled up. I mean, I do that every day to be honest, but Today more than ever. Today more than ever. Uh, um, I don't want to use that one. I just want the like spotlighty one. Where are you? I can't see it. Yeah, we'll use this one. We'll use this one because it matches in with that pink quite nicely there. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. And I think here we're like a stack of like fashion mags or something. So I'll go into the Moschino. Thank you. Go into the Moschino. And then they've got that nice little stack of like, yeah, this one. There we go. Some fashion mags. Because I reckon she's all about the fashion. I reckon she's quite crafty as well. So I'm, I've put like a little knitting thing down here too. I forgot to say that. So I think off to the side here. I'm actually going to give her the kind of knitting basket as well. Um, From Nifty Knitting. Can we go to Nifty Knitting please? Hello. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm actually going to give her a little knitting basket next to here as well. Can we? It comes in lots of garish pink. So we're not. We're going to be spoiled for choice. I think I'll use this one. There we go. And maybe she crafts. Ah, maybe she does that on Etsy as well. Or what is it called in The Sims? Plopsy or something. Maybe she does that too. Knits loads of like cute things and sells them. I'm here for that storyline. And this little area here. I think I'm just going to put this cabinet down from Snowy Escape. Where she can store some stuff. 
Maybe she's got little shoe cabinets here where she can put her shoes on before she goes out. Oh, I'm for that idea. I am. I'm very much for it. What can we put up here? I mean, I would have loved a mirror around this area, but I think we can just do that in the, the bedroom area, to be honest. Um, I don't know what to put up there. I think it needs a sconce over this side for a start. I'll do a couple of these cheeky sconces just off to the side here. Lovely and lovely. Right there. Gorgeous. Oh, for it. Absolutely for that. And I don't really don't know if I want to put anything on top of there, to be honest with you. Oh, maybe some like... Oh, I know what. I know what to put there. That little basket with the throws. What pack was that from again? Eco Lifestyle. I found it, but I've also found a little fish bowl as well. I'm going to give her a little fish. I'm going to give her a fish. Oh, no, that's going to be up too high now. Is it? Oh, no, it's float. It's not floating. Oh, stunning. Yeah, we'll do that. Can I move you off to the side? No, you don't want to go there. Yeah, we'll do that. But I think I'm going to change the color of the basket for a bit lighter. Yeah, lighter aesthetic. And then up on this side here, I think maybe... Oh, I could put some dry flowers up there. Well, I can't because there's no... There's a snap point underneath of that. Oh, what about if I could put you... Oh, Christ. Where are you going? Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> do, you, do you see me? I flew away then, loves. Um, This one. Can I put you down there instead? No, because you're not going to go onto a snap point. But I will lift you up. And I'll put you there. Yeah, that kind of makes more sense being there, actually. And then I can put this up here. Is that not going to go up there? No. No, it's not. Oh, for God's sake. I hate you. I'm going to put you up there with the nine key then, love. Yes, I am. Are you floating? No, you're not. Oh, yes, yes, that's the vibe. Right, we need to get rid of you now because you're in that snap point and you there as well. Can I change the colour of the underneath there? Oh, that's better. Yes, she'd be all about pampas grass and stuff. I fucking hate pampas grass. And it's like making a comeback. I'm seeing like people I know on Instagram and stuff like, oh my God, little pampas grass moment with their like bunch. I'm just like, no, piss off of your pampas grass, darling. I'm not into it. I'm not into it at all. Okay, I'm happy with that area. Let's crack on and move on to the kitchen and dining. Okay, my dears, on to the kitchen. I'm thinking about using this bit more of a kitschy kitchen, if you get my drift. So I'm going to use that base game kitchen with this. Um, I forget what that's from. from. Parenthood or something. No idea. But it's from a pack in The Sims 4. Just so you know. Um, I'm going to do a little moment like that in the corner there. The end piece, I think I'm going to flop on a little diagonal moment over to that side. And if I'm, I don't really want to do a diagonal moment there, do I? No. So what about if I try and use this one, but whiffle it over into the corner's edge like that? And oh, for that, yes. We've got that moment going on there. Over this side, I'm going to do a washer and dryer. I need to put a clothesline out, and I'm thinking about putting the clothesline. Where did I want to put it? I can't remember where I wanted to put the clothesline. I made it. Oh, that's a good spot for it there. Let's put one down now. Um, Because I'm going to put a, a wash and dryer in the kitchen. Now, I know it's not a thing you do in the US. It's primarily a UK thing. But you know what? Kylie's all about it. And that's all that matters, isn't it, really? So I'm going to flop a clothesline to there. Oh, for it. And then what I'm going to do is put a washer and dryer over this side with the fridge over this side as well, I think. So let's map that in now while we're here as well, actually. So, washer and dryer. We need appliances, kitchen. It's not kitchen appliances, Aiden. <laughs> it's just appliances. Go into appliances, go into your misc, and then you will find them. Here they are. Um, There's the washing machine. Oh, can we do a pink washer? Can we do a pink washing machine? Where we are. We're doing it for Kylie. Imagine how hard it would have been to source everything in this this whole house in pink. But do you know what? Kylie was on it. She was on it. She was rifling through eBay trying to find the pink dryer. And she found one. She was made up. She was absolutely made up of it. Oh, I'm for it. Right, okay. We're going to move you down to here now. I've got you up on there. Put that one to there. And I'm going to put a fridge next to it. Um, Do we have pink fridges? Oh, we have. Look. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Uh, no, in fact, I'm going to go. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this, but I'm going to just use it in a normal color. 
just because the oven's in the normal color. So I'm going to just, well, not normal, but you know what I mean. As appliances go, that kind of vibe. Uh, yeah, that's cute. I don't like the top of that. Like, like that though. So I may size up a shelf. Let's just go into shelves this way. It's much easier. There we go. Into shelves. I'll try and size up a shelf and see if it looks okay. And I could probably use this one here in white. Let me size you up, darling. Oh, perfection. Perfection. And then I'm going to plonk it round about to there, I think. Yes. And then I'm going to have to move that up a little bit more now as well. Yes, that's better. Okay. Yes. And then I can do a bin down the side here as well. Um, And I was going to put a diner dining table in here but i think i'm gonna try and squeeze in a little circle one in the middle maybe with one or two chairs on it i think that's what i'm gonna do uh what am i doing i'm going into kitchen and i'm finding a bin that is what i'm doing and i'm just gonna use that generic one right there oh for it yes indeed put the sink there maybe as well yeah i'm gonna put a sink there sink there just a normal standard sink maybe um no that one there would that one there would be better with this kitchen, I think. Yes. Oh, for it. Let's get some cabinets up. And then I'm going to try and map in um, a dining table. Why, why did that take me so long? Why did that take me so long to think of that? Help. Today, today is not the day for me. <laughs> today is not the day for me. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. And I'm just going to float these all the way along now. To, can I fit another one in there? Oh, I can. Just about. Yeah. I hate the way that that hangs over this though. But. Sims. You know. Sim, sim, sims. That would be the perfect one. But the weird snap points on that. Because it's supposed to go in a corner. It's just not going to work. I mean, I could move it with the tool mod. But I can't be asked. So I'm not going to. Anyway. So. We've got everything mapped in now. No like details or anything just yet. But what I want to do is put in a dining table. And four chairs maybe. I probably could fit that in here, couldn't I? With four chairs. Do we want to go square or do we want to go round? I'm probably seeing like a like a tablecloth moment in here for some reason. Oh, it's got a pink one. But well, it's kind of peachy. Maybe we could just do white. Oh, I think so. And let me pick a few chairs out. Yes, we'll go for those two. We'll go for two there, but I've also got another two out just in case Kylie has her, her son and um, daughter-in-law soon to be over for dinner. Then she's got two extra chairs that she can just pull out, whip into place, and it's stunning. Absolutely for it. I hate the darkness over this side. Seems to be a bit darker over there and I really can't bear it. I'm just wondering if I can put in another sconce up here. But I will size them down to match in with the size of those. A little mini sconce just there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We've got the bin going on there. Mm, don't want to put anything else down there. No, not really. No. No, I don't. And I'm thinking a big bunch of flowers on here as well. Um, and I'm going to go for the garish bunch, I think. I'm going to go for the garish pink bunch. Oh, stunning. That is definitely... <laughs> That's a bit too much there. I put them up in the corner. They're a bit too much on that little dining table. So I put them up in the corner there. Oh, I'm for it. And I want to get that baked goods thing out. Where is that? I know where you are, but I just can't remember. I found her. It's fine. We're all here. Ooh. Oh, we've got to. <laughs> we've got to use it in the pink. And I pulled out this... um dish rack as well but it's not fitting on there properly so I'm going to move that away tilt it at a jaunty angle make sure it's not cutting into anything that should be fine flop that into oh that's bloody hanging off the edge now oh you fussy little bastard aren't you come here stop it there are you cutting in you fucking are <laughs> oh and I think that's going to be the winner oh there we go oh it's cutting in do you know what fuck it Kylie loves it absolutely loves when her um, dish rack cuts into the side that's the storyline and we're all sticking to it. Okay. Good. Good. Um, I'm thinking I would love to have some um, ceiling fans in this lot. I think it would really, really work. 
So I'm thinking about adding a few in. Can we use these like smaller ones? What does that look like through that light? Uh, I don't really like that one. It doesn't give me like sudden vibes. This one here does though, but then the light looks weird. <laughs> it looks so weird with that light. What about if I size it down? What would you look like then? Oh, uh, you know what? It will do. That's what we're going to do. Kylie's going to be happy with it. And that's all that matters, isn't it really? I'm going to put one out on the deck as well. And in the bedroom. Oh, I can't put one there because there's no ceiling there. What I mean by that is I didn't put a ceiling on it because it's just roof. Oh, well. They're going to have to be steaming out on the on the deck. Yes, they will. Okay, cool. Um, And I'm thinking rug. I'm thinking rug in the kitchen. Let me find a good rug. Oh, there we go. Perfect one. Perfect rug from Tiny Living. Yeah, that suits the vibe. I'm absolutely for it. For it, for it, for it. Yeah, no, that's cute. That is cute. That area there is really bugging me, though. I don't know what to put there. Because it's quite a weird space because of how close the door is to it. So I can't really put much in it. Um, There we go. That was my decision. I used this one here um, from the Paranormal Pack. And I just moved the chairs in closer. And then we've still got a nice vibe going on over that side as well. <gasps> I'm for it. Okay, well, we're going to move on to the bedroom. So, the bedroom. I'm going to use this base game bed because it's got a little pale pink moment going on in it. I'm for it. Um, we're going to get some bedside tables going here, which we probably need to put some lamps on as well, just because the lighting's a bit weird at this end. So that is what we're going to do. What side bed? What side bed table? What bedside table are we going to use? I have no idea. We're going to use these base game ones, the ones that I pulled out first. They're just going to match in well. So that is what we're going to do. Yes, we are. Um, I'm going to pull you into there. And I am going to put some lamps on you now. Um, I don't know what lamps, though. I do not know what lamps. Let's get this whiffled right up. I'm floating in mid-air here. Mid-air. Mid-air. Oh, God. It's going to be a struggle. Oh, do you know what? That one there will probably do for Kylie. <laughs> yes. Yes, we'll do that one and that one. On either side there. Quite a simple bedroom as well. I don't want to go too mad. I'm thinking maybe... A chest of drawers in the front here. I would have liked to have put a wardrobe in here, really. Or I could do wardrobe and a chest of drawers just kind of pushed into the side. Let's try that. We will be able to get a decent enough wardrobe in here, though, that would suit in with the vibe. No, because the whole vibe of this place is a bit of a jumbled mess. But that is exactly what I wanted to come across in here. Yes, I did. So wardrobe wise, maybe using this one in not that pink, not at all. In the white. Oh, that could be a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll flop you to there like that. And then oh, I could put a chest of drawers on the other side. This one. <gasps> yes, because then it keeps that window free as well. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good vibe. And then I want to flop in a little shaky mirror off to the edge here as well. Probably sitting in that classic kind of vibe there would probably be the best way to go. I'm going to flop you to there, my darling. Oh, I'm for it. Yeah, no, this is looking cute now. This is looking cute. Shall I, like, get one of those armchairs in here as well? I think that would look really cute up against the window here. Maybe with a little plant off to the side of it. Oh, I'm, I'm for that. I really am. So I'm going to put a nice plant off to the side of this as well. Maybe using a bushy boy or a leafy boy. Either two, it doesn't matter. Ooh, no, you're a bit, you're a bit too much in here. Ooh, the palm one. Yes, let's size you down and put you there. Pop you to there, love. Oh, yeah, no, that looks fine. I like that. Yes, I'm getting those vibes. Absolutely for it. And do you know what I'm going to put up here? I'm going to put another mirror. Another little mirror, and I think this circle one would look really cute. I'm going to see if I could just size it up. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Just on that edge there. Yes, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. Oh, this room. Yeah, no, I'm, I like this room. This room's doing, doing what I need it to. Uh, and I'm going to put a laundry basket in here as well, because we don't have one in the house. So if I go into here... Go into here and I can get one out. And I think they've got a little white number or a lighter number at least. I'll flop you down to the side there, love. Lovely. 
And then I'm going to put some makeup and stuff up on this side here. Um, or even just like, yeah, just like a little potion number. Oh, I would see her having perfumes though. There we go. So I've added some perfumes and some nail varnishes in for her as well. Oh, that's an absolute vibe that. Yeah, no, this is cute. I don't want to add anything else in here. I may do, actually, I might just put a few little pictures up on this side of the wall here. Um, just some pretty, pretty flowery pictures. Maybe using that like three one because it does just can we change the color of the frames to this? I can't remember. No, we can't. So I'll use them instead. I never use these, but I think that's very, very Kylie. I bet one of them says live, laugh, love. Girl, live, laugh, love. <laughs> I bet that's exactly what it says. OK, cool. OK, and then finally the bathroom. The bathroom's going to be very generic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flop a shower in this moment here we'll use this one here pop that shower into there so it's got its own little inco for a shower i think a toilet there no a sink no the toilet can go there and i'll do like a double unit for a sink <gasps> perfect absolutely perfect am i gonna do pink in here as well do you know what it would be fucking rude if i didn't so that's what we're gonna do there we go and then just a very generic toilet into this side here as well that one yeah that one Oh, for it. And then a little sink off into this. Oh, can we add a pink sink in? You bloody bet we can, darling. Oh, I'm for it. Yes. And a little mirror up here as well. Maybe something that's got almost looks like it's got storage. I think that would probably match in well um, or be needed in a place like this because it doesn't very much look like we've got enough storage in here. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Maybe some toiletries as well. So where did I put them? Come to me. You're coming in here. And then I'm, what I can do is try and find another like product looking thing. <laughs> God, well, I'm, I'm apologizing for today. My brain has melted. It was my own fault. I went to bed far too late last night and I've got a melted brain today oh maybe like a little styling station actually with some makeup with some makeup yeah we'll do that we'll flap that in instead yes yes that's very kylie oh for it and then i'm gonna do a little toilet roll there stunning and then we're gonna do a little towel oh they would look cute in here yeah we'll do that down there so i think actually what i'm gonna do I'm going to move you into this room instead. There we go. And then I'll flop that off up into the corner a little bit more there. And then I'll do a towel rail here. Do we have a pink towel? I don't think we do. We probably do. Um, oh, there we go. Look. Stunning. Is that at the right height there? It should be. Um, maybe that way a little bit more and down to like there. Ah, <gasps> yes. Okay, I'm happy. It's done. Kylie's Kylie's place, the Dobson's residence, is completely finished. And I like the vibe of it. I do. I think this looks just cozy and sweet. And that's exactly what I wanted. So we need a little tour, don't we? So off we pop into tour mode. So this is obviously the exterior of Kylie's. I'm very much for it. Very cute. Little veg patch moment going on there. Little paddling pool. Little sun lounging area. Um, with the, with the food that she made yesterday, the chicken skewers for it. Um, little barbecue area with a little entertaining space there. Lots of lovely little flowers. And then around to the more of the party area when she has a few friends over. A little dining space. A bar. And she's obviously got her hot tub in here where her and Red get fruity behind the, um, I reckon, um, Dave pokes his head through and watches as well the filth. Um, she's got her little lemon grove going on here too. A little flower arranging table moment for it. Um, we've got bowls out here for the lovely Samson, including his bed as well. I reckon Samson's more of an outside dog, but he does come in and sleep on the sofa as well. I reckon Kylie's just like, you know what? Treat yourself. Do not mind. So obviously we've got, oh, we need to get in some toys actually for Samson. I need to remember to put some toys in, so I will. So little decking area with little rocking chairs. And then into the living area here where she's got a little living room full of color and brightness, sweet and light. 
And then obviously she's got a little kitchen moment going on here as well. That I'm absolutely for. And um, utility stations, little dining area going on to there. Obviously the bathroom that we have just done. So shower, sink, toilet, all the things a bathroom should need. And a bedroom. Bedroom, light, bright, clean, and airy. Home. It just feels like home. And I'm for it. I'm for it and I'm for Kylie. I really am. So we are done. We are done with the Dobson's house. Next week, we're going to start on Dave's. We're going to start on Dave's house here, which is going to be a bit more like this, a bit more shotgun style. But I do want it to look very, very rundown, like overgrown everything. It looks a mess. Maybe he's a bit of a hoarder as well. I would imagine that for Dave. That's what we're going to do for Dave. We're going to make his garden have like old car parts and stuff in it. That is going to happen. It's going to be a big contrast between kylie's and dave's house and that is exactly what i wanted here so yes so there we go my darlings thank you so much for watching today i appreciate you apologies for the hot mess um at what this video probably was with me skipping over my words and just being an all-around derp to be honest i'll be back tomorrow with a speed build we've got a speed build coming it's really cute i think you'll really like this one and yeah that's it that's it again more comments i want to hear what you think we should put in dave's house as well what kind of character you want dave to be i want him to be a bit of a, a bit of a knob to be honest um and we'll start on dave next week as will the potter project be coming back next week as well as will another design me devon too so until then my friends i'll see you all in my speed build tomorrow goodbye